During the course of the uh, few months prior to the dispersal order, there'd been a build-up of incidents uh, which had occurred. These involved uh, large groups of young people gathering uh, in places uh, on pr principally Fridays, Saturdays. These groups were up to 150 to 200 strong. Uh, they then started to behave in uh, a very rowdy um, and very boisterous behaviour. Uh, and committed minor acts of criminal damage, um, shouting and swearing, that sort of thing. It's been described to a very badly behaved playground. We had to respond very quickly to the request for a dispersal order. There was a meeting on the Monday morning, involved senior officers from the police uh, and senior uh, officials from the council. And as a result of that meeting, it was given out to those operational officers, such as myself and the area partner manager, in order to bring the dispersal order in. We had to stop the nuisance um, and also um, we had to consider the safety of our young people in the area. People would think that the dispersal order is police led but actually uh, elected members are involved, youth services are involved, the police, the area assembly and voluntary sector have all been involved. And we felt that by bringing these on we could go down the route of rather than just a simple enforcement dispersal order uh, we could go down the route of uh, intervention so that we would actually try and intervene before we became to the enforcement side of that. Uh, the work we've done has been going out and meeting young people, relaxing on the streets with them and discussing some issues they might have around the dispersal order and how it's made them feel. But there were a lot of issues around family life, around school, a lot of them have been sort of kicked out of school at 13, 14 year old and then not had any engagement with any form of services whatsoever since and these were young lads who were 19 year old. Obviously that leads to them being extremely unengaged and not participating with, within their community and we found there were a lot of alcohol, drug use happening on the markets. A lot of the feedback we have had is that there's a lack of opportunities and activities for young people in Dinnington and that they feel that they need some kind of continual support whereas there's a place to go, what's theirs, they've got ownership of it and they feel that will resolve a lot of the problems what have led to the dispersal order being placed. I've been drinking for two years now. I've been caught three times at back of the markets. We used a variety of means in order to get the message out that the dispersal order was coming into place. First thing we did was, obviously it affects young children, so they were our key target. First thing we did was use the local schools in cooperation with the local schools to get out a text message sent to all parents informing them that a dispersal order was coming in. This proved very, very successful. Second, I had officers visit every area, every assembly in the schools. We had a leaflet put together which asked some of the questions that they would ask us, such as um, why you're dispersing us, why is it necessary to have this dispersal order, what powers you're using and what should we do about them, what alternatives they are for us. And we put this leaflet together so that it would answer those questions. And should we have to disperse them, then we gave them one of these leaflets alongside the actual order to disperse themselves. Their behaviour affects our behaviour. So what we were looking at is that if they were perfectly happy not causing a problem and playing if you like, normally, as we'd expect young people to do, then we were not going to disperse them. This was not a given that we would disperse them on site, and that was a key message that we wanted to get out. We've learned from a lot of young people that they really feel the need of facilities such as Jade within Dinnington. There's um, a, a lack of opportunity there and there's a lack of facilities for them. A lot of the feedback has suggested that they would like somewhere where they can go every night, where they've got control over it, they don't want to be involved in educational activities, they want to be engaged in positive social activities. They've been at school for eight hours, they want to come home, they want to relax, but they'd rather do it in an environment like Jade than they will be sat out in the rain, on the markets, on the streets, where they're much more likely to become involved with antisocial behaviour. We found that as members of the community in Kibbit and where we're running Jade, that it's been really important for us to take a control of the issues within our community and, and support our young people. We feel the same needs to be done in Dinnington as the people of Dinnington know the issues better than anybody else. They're, they know their community, they know the young people, it's their young people that they need to be engaging. I think it's essential that we get the community fully on board to support young people through, through providing positive opportunities and activities. Do you know in Dinnington the reason why they did it is because they were like hundreds of kids hanging around and they were just terrorising old neighbours and drinking loads and smashing the old streets up and stuff like that. 
Do you reckon it's all like that round here? No. 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 Uh, I think one of the main factors what young people have to face today is the fact that things have changed a lot from when a lot of people who are involved in decision making processes around young people don't take into account. For example, we're living a much more of a 24 hour culture now where a lot of the parents are out at work all hours of the day and they don't necessarily have the time to spend with the family. This leads to sort of young people being out on the streets and being under engaged and it means there's a much more need for services like ours where we are engaging young people. It's really given them an opportunity to become part of the community and part of the, to create their own community. Uh, they, they've been involved with developing the project and shaping their own provision from day one and with that in mind it makes sure it's exactly what the young people want. During the dispersal period uh, we engaged with lots of young people, asked for their opinions um, and hopefully all that information has gone into a survey and it will shape the services that we provide for young people in the future. As an elected member I was involved right from the very start to make sure that young people in the area's voices were heard um, and to make sure that they were included in the democratic process. Now, if this one here we'd all be on street. Yeah, we'd all yeah. be on the street at the minute and just like got no to do board. What we used to do is we used to go head jumping and knocking on doors and way past them. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you reckon you used to do that though? Because there were no, no like this. No to do. I think parents would like to spend more time with young people, but they don't always have the option to, which again, you know, it leads to young people not having the support there, what, what they need. So it's there every day for them, they can access it when they want, and it's providing exactly what they want. And that we feel that's made a huge change to the area um, in terms of opportunities for young people, how well they get on at school, how well they. they get on socially within the community, it's made a massive difference and a huge impact. The dispersal order itself has now come to a conclusion and we're just in the process um, of evaluating the results. The early feedback would indicate that uh, reported incidents of antisocial behaviour are running at about 50% less. In terms of the actual enforcement of what we've actually done with regards to the young people, um, eight of the young people have been given antisocial uh, behaviour letters with regards to alcohol where we've warned them regarding the alcohol use on the street. Uh, and some nine people have actually been involved um, in early referrals through where they receive extra uh, group tuition regarding the effects of their antisocial behaviour. And we're quite pleased that in actual fact we've only got one antisocial behaviour order, which is what's known as the ASBO application. We've only got one of those going through. But we're particularly pleased with the way it's worked. Um, we found that by using the intervention method rather than enforcement method, um, it's interesting that we haven't actually enforced any part of the dispersal order. What we've done is we've made them, uh, the young children go home and we've enforced the dispersal side of it, but there are offences if they refuse to do so or they continue to um, cause a nuisance. But we haven't had to enforce any of those and we're particularly pleased with that. It's really important that communities take responsibility for their own issues within them communities and that involves working with young people, providing opportunities for young people and making sure that uh, the, such as the dispersal order doesn't happen again through providing the correct support for young people. It's really important that communities take ownership of these issues as their issues within their communities and it's no good looking to other agencies or partners to sort it out. Anything what can be done by members of the community should be done to support young people. We've learnt so much in this dispersal period um, mainly that uh, partners, how close partners need to work together to, to get things done. But also we need to reconnect young people back into our society. It's actually been a fantastic experience um, working with all, all different agencies to address the issues. Tell me I had a choice, I have to work with someone to stop drinking or get an ASBO somewhere. I, I agreed to stop drinking, I'm not promising anything but I'm going to give it a go. We've seen a massive difference through providing this sort of provision in Kiveton Park. Um, we've seen a huge fall in the crime figures. The police, have suggest, the police have told us that it's a much easier place to police and that the young people are much more um, open to discussing problems with the police. We often relay messages from the police to young people about areas where there might be issues involving the young people. And it often saves conflict because the young people take it on board without having to be arrested or taken over the back of the police car. We've also found that just through the engagement within the centre and within the community, Young people are much prouder of their community and they feel like there's a place for them within their community. They don't feel rejected by the community, they feel like they're active members of it. And this makes a huge difference towards antisocial behaviour.